Central Istanbul in the height of tourism season and these streets are deadly quiet. Just two weeks ago this place was a thriving hub of social activity as locals smoked a water pipe and tourists quenched their thirsts in the midst of summer. But today these cafe bars are struggling to stay open after the local conservative municipality confiscated their tables and chairs, effectively closing down the famous terraced back streets of Beyoğlu, Istanbul's main entertainment district. They took the tables and chairs while people were eating and drinking. They came with the police and there were many of them. It was as if they were trying to catch someone doing something illegal. But we're just bar owners, we don't deserve this. Ilhami shows us a document signed by the municipality that clearly states he can put tables and chairs on four square metres of pavement. He paid money to have this privilege, as have hundreds of bar owners. A ten-minute walk from here, one of the oldest entertainment strips, Nevezadi Street, still has its terraces, but for how long, no one knows. They closed Asmala Street, yes, and other places, and this doesn't mean they won't touch us. We're just waiting. They're doing this because of their own supporters who have their own Islamic ideas against alcohol. AK Party are doing what they have to do. The ruling AK Party have been accused of harboring a pro-Islamist agenda since coming to power in 2002. Ironically, under their watch, Turkey's wine sector has been experiencing record growth. Junaid Uyghur, who works for one of Turkey's largest wineries, says the number of producers has radically increased. Turkey is integrated into the world economy and is following global trends. But he doesn't believe it's specifically an AK Party project. We can't say this government is encouraging wine production. Rather, it's a consequence of the relationship between Turkey and the EU. And at the same time, the opening of EU negotiating chapters has brought changes to tax rules and technologies for producing wine. The municipality says the street terraces were sprawling beyond the designated boundaries and have promised to resolve the issue quickly. Ilhami hopes before he has to let another member of his staff go. They told us they're going to fix this situation, but how, we don't know. Some days I can't sell anything. We have to pay our bank credit, and I can't. I've owned this bar since 2001, it's my future. But now I can't earn any money, so I can't make any plans, I can't do anything. It's hard to tell whether this is a sign of AK Party's more conservative side showing itself, but one thing is certain. Hundreds of bars have been affected, and Istanbul's downtown entertainment district is no longer the hive of activity it once was.